name is Peru or Peru LaRue and I'm here just quickly today to talk to you about a video that went up from Kat Von D regarding the fact that she is not a Nazi and not a anti-vaxxer. I don't feel, so living in Australia I don't feel that I've had a huge influence from Jewish people that you seem to see in the US so being an anti-Semitic isn't something that I can comment on but what I wanted to talk about is her anti-vax stance because to me that's what really pushes me over the line. So she posted a 11 minutes and 2 second video and she starts talking about her anti-vax stance at 8 minutes 23. F from everything I've seen that came out post her stance with the anti-vaxxing it was that the anti-somatic was supporting and just adding another reason not to support her but anti-vaxxing was the number one thing people didn't want to support her on so it really disappoints me that of an 11 minute video less than three minutes is spent talking about vaccinations she put herself in a situation where people with anti-vax beliefs can elevate her and believe her and that is a really dangerous thing to do I've got a video that I actually have just finished editing where I do talk about Cameron D and this is prior to the video coming up and that's why I'm here. We go on our trip. It's like midnight. It's nearly 1am and we I'm leaving to go overseas uh, in less than 24 hours. But just watching the video and watching me talk about Cameron D's products and how much I've loved them and how sad I am that I don't know what to do with them and then this video is coming out today. And also I am a registered nurse and I have seen people die of preventable diseases. And in the video, uh, I'll leave it on, I might change the way I've got it scheduled. But in the video I talk about the fact that as long as she's an anti-vaxxer I just, I can't support the brand anymore and I, I'm not going to buy anything more from her. So I don't want to ever be seen as supporting someone who has an anti-vax view and I feel like her video lacked clarity on her view it was what she said was that she had experienced hesitancy uh, being a first-time mother and from the research that she did from everything I know when it comes to anti-vaccination websites a lot of them are unsupported and the research is not good so you know that she wasn't going to a well-respected area of the internet or anything to read about anti-vax views um, I can definitely I can definitely sympathize with someone who's being a first-time mother and is struggling with that. It's become a very hot topic and it, it just shouldn't be. It, it shouldn't be. Um, she stated that she will consult, consult with a pediatrician in the future and will be keeping all their medical decisions private. I don't think this was good enough. Not after everything that she caused, not after all the outrage she caused with coming out as an anti-vaxxer. Um, especially for me in light of the fact that the World Health Organization has listed vaccine hesitancy as one of the top 10 global threats. To the, the World Health Organization is a well-respected organ like health organization um, to go to for information about stuff like this. That's where you should start if you're gonna, if you wanna know things about vaccinations. Don't. Sorry, I really wanna make sure that I'm quite clear on this, the fact that I don't want to send any hate her way. I don't want to receive any hate. This is what this is about. This is about my personal view from what she stated on a public video. I don't think it was good enough to backtrack on what she was. I feel really bad for her about the anti-Semitic situation. If that was a forgery, that's horrible. Who knows? It was a long time ago. But her coming out as being hesitant with vaccines is pretty current. And she never specifically came down from that. Uh, she she talked about receiving hate and how horrible that is, and that definitely that definitely is horrible. But you know what's also horrible is supporting the anti-vax movement and not fully removing your horse from the race, not fully saying I believe in vaccinations. I had just been led down a bad path. Um, vaccines are good. And what I just want to sort of finish up is, so I'll link it down below, but the World Health Organization for, came out with the top 10 global threats to the fucking world. 
uh, for 2019 and vaccine hesitancy made it to that list. Um, I'm just going to read what they've written on their website. I think I'll leave it there. So vaccine hesitancy, the reluctance or refusal to vaccinate despite the availability of vaccines, threatens to reverse progress made in tracking vaccine preventable diseases. Vaccination is one of the most cost effective ways of avoiding disease. It currently prevents two to three million deaths a year and a further 1.5 million could be avoided if global coverage of vaccines improved. Measles, for example, has seen a 30% increase in cases globally. The reasons for this rise are complex and not all of these cases are due to vaccine hesitancy. However, some countries that were close to eliminating the disease have seen a resurgence. The reasons why people choose not to vaccinate are complex. A vaccine advisory group to World Health Organization identified complacency, inconvenience in accessing vaccines, and lack of confidence are key reasons underlying hesitancy. Health workers, especially those in communities, remain the most trusted advisor and influencer of vaccine decisions, and they must be supported to provide trusted, credible information on vaccines. In 2019, WHO will ramp up work to eliminate cervical cancer worldwide by increasing coverage of the HPV vaccine, among other interventions. 2019 may also be the year when transmission of wild polio virus is stopped in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Last year, less than 30 cases were reported in both countries. World Health Organization and partners are committed to supporting these countries to vaccinate every last child to eradicate this crippling disease for good. In light of that, I think you can get a sense of how important it is to vaccinate. And where I work in health, I don't regularly deal with vaccines. I have actually been trained in vaccine vaccines prior, but it was many years ago and I don't regularly use that knowledge. But for me, looking at it as a just a person, um, Kat Mondi is a is a big person she's a big name in the makeup community she's a big name in the tattoo community uh, she came out very adamantly supporting an anti-vax movement and then was very quiet on that stance for a very long time only coming out now and the fact that she spent so long with the video talking about something that happened long long ago and I know it has been thrown around at her recently but there just wasn't enough time for her she sh I really wish that she had spoken more about her anti-vax stance. I don't think she will make another video, but to me, from now on, I'm... I, I don't want anything to do with that brand. I don't want anything to do with her brand. Um, I'm not 100% what I'm going to do with the current products in my collection. Her lipstick formula is bomb. Her eyeshadow formula is pretty bomb. But I can't support someone like that. There's plenty of new eyeshadows and lipsticks on the market. I, I, I can't support her stance. Um, I'd be really curious to see what you think. Uh, have a look at the World Health Organization website. Watch her video. Uh, let me know what you think of this matter and where you are with Kat Von D. And yeah, it's taken me a really long time to actually get to this point. For a long time I was like, oh, I just, just want to enjoy the makeup, please. But she supported a movement that is a global threat to humanity. The, the, her, her apology video wasn't good enough and I don't mean any hate or disrespect um, I just and I understand her wanting to be private in her matters with her healthcare it's just that she forego she foregoed that when she shared it initially to fully step back now she has to share everything and yeah I'm, I'm, I'm not about her brand anymore I hope you can understand um and yeah anyway i absolutely love you all you've stopped by i really appreciate any thoughts you have to share um let me know thank you so much